So you've heard Dr. D is making a game. Maybe you even know that it's called Dead Drop. Maybe you've seen some gameplay and heard the game has NFTs, but what you don't know is if it's any good or not. Or maybe I guess putting it more lightly, what the game's potential is, considering it's in a pre, 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 pre alpha stage. Let's talk all about Dr. D's Dead Drop NFT game right here, right now. How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership, your go-to extraction news source for Dead Drop, Hawk, Descendant, and Ark Raiders. So in case you don't know, what is Dead Drop? Let's go over that really fast. So it's a NFT, quote unquote, enabled semi arcade first person vertical extraction shooter. And it's really the first of its kind. So what is a vertical extraction shooter, you might be asking. And if you are, I'm going to answer that. It is like any other extraction shooter, just like Tarkov or the Cycle Frontier or Hunt, except the map is taller than it is wide. So what that means is that climbing to the top before the climb ice reaches negative 460 degrees Fahrenheit and freezes your tiny little toes into non-existence is absolutely essential to victory. Okay, so now that we all have an understanding as to what Dead Drop is, let's move on to what buying and playing Dead Drop is going to look like and if it's any good. All right, so purchasing the game, first of all, it ain't on Steam. Okay, you're going to have to go to the Midnight Society website and uh, make an account. Then you're paying for the pre-alpha snapshots, just so you know. Again, this is in pre 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 alpha that's why they call these snapshots so keep in mind that you're gonna be paying to get access to something like that if that's your jig then go ahead and do it now can you play it right away no, you have to wait for your slow ass browser to download the file, which is going to be a zip file. Then you have to unzip it. Then you have to install the game. The, the pleasures of not being on Steam. You got to love it. And then after that, you may possibly be forced to wait for the next snapshot. I can't remember exactly if I was able to buy the game before the next snapshot or if they made me wait to buy the game or I, I can't remember exactly how it worked. I'm pretty sure I bought the game and then I couldn't install it from the browser browser or download it from the browser until the next snapshot was released. Either way, still annoying. All right, so jumping into the game, you're going to boot her up. You're going to load the game. The the easy anti-cheat's going to pop up. You're going to connect the game to your web account. You should only have to do that once every time you download it. And then you're going to wait for 20 minutes to join a match because nobody fucking plays this game. Although during peak hours, you'll wait a lot less time. I managed to not have to wait more than five minutes during my recordings. So that was a blessing. And then depending on which map you get, you're going to race to your destination. Uh, I did not buy a racing game. Uh, this is not one of my favorite things about this game, but I guess it's supposed to be like dropping in to the map in other battle royales and extraction shooter games. I don't really know. I think it's a unique take. Kind of weird, but hey, uh, I don't know. I guess Dr. D's got to get his uniqueness in there somehow. And uh, I guess it's kind of fun intermediary. I guess it, it's okay. It, it needs some work. So I would say once you've gotten to this point, honestly, you should join the Discord server, the Midnight Society Dead Drop Discord server. I would highly recommend joining that. I'll leave a link down in the description for you as well. And so after you have jumped into the game, you get to meet the lovely community and learn about the game. No, no, I'm right here. I'm right here. No, look, no, 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 I'm right behind you. Look down. Look what? down. I fell down. Welcome to, welcome to my domain. This is my domain. Okay, come, come hither. We're gonna get shot. <laughs> okay. And honestly, surprisingly, the community seems to be really supportive and friendly. However, I don't have a ton of time into this game, but the people that I have met either are, you know, really humble or friendly. I really have not experienced any toxicity in this game so far. Now, this is a Dr. Disrespect game, so I'm honestly very, very surprised, but it is a seemingly small and fun and entertaining community revolving around this game. I will mention that there is is a lot of content creators diving into this game, so do not be surprised with the open mic only restriction feature that, uh, you know, you might run into people, I don't know, recording content on the game. Uh, open mic, you know? You never know what you'll run into. And if you're a loner boner like myself, then getting dead drop might just enable you to make some friends. Who knows? I don't know what friends are, nor have I ever made them before in my life. So maybe somebody can teach me down in the comments. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Good luck. I'll, I'm, my name is Spicy Dingle. I'm going to come kill you next. Game. Spicy okay. Dingle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my name my name is uh, my name is Magneti and you're going to be on my YouTube video this Friday. Just so you uh. know. 
Okay, secondly, secondly. Okay, well, I have a YouTube channel as well, so you can come say hi. I'm <laughs> fucking <that>. sick, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, Discord server. I did mention it earlier. However, like, the Discord server, I cannot commend them enough. The mods, they have this weird, humble, passive aggressiveness to them that kind of turns me on a little. I mean, uh, is really interesting. I've never met moderators like that in a Discord server. It's super helpful, super responsive. Everybody is chill. It's just probably one of the more unique Discord servers I've really ever been a part of part of and it's amazing. I love it. Now, once you've joined the Discord server by clicking the link in the description, I want you to go ahead and just tap or click that subscribe button on your way back up to watching the video since you're already down there. Thanks. Okay. All right. So far, we haven't really talked about much. It may not seem. However, we've talked about what the game is, what it's going to be like to get the game, and uh, then just knowing that you're going to need to meet the community. I have told you nearly nothing about the game. And the reason that that is, is because since this game is in such a pre-early alpha beginning beta stage. I really don't want to dive into the mechanics, although I'm going to brisk over them very, very briefly at the end here, because so much can change from here to official launch, which will probably be, you know, when I'm 89 years old and creaking down the hallway on a hover jet craft in 2090. And, you know, that's OK, because I love that about games. You know, the potential for this game, really good, really, really good. Honestly, I think that this game has a lot of potential. But again, I'm not going to go deep down into the nitty gritty of the mechanics and other things that I would normally for other games just because this game is so early in development. My overall opinion on Dead Drop is that it's really good. However, some of my major gripes is one, the racing. The racing is fucking horrible in my general opinion. It needs a lot of fucking work. Like, I get that this is early access, but like, holy fuck. It is the drifting, the, the turning, like shooting your gun. It's not for me. And that's okay. You know, some people like it, but it's just not for me. It's something. That's for sure. It's something. Another major gripe I have is the mantle in the game. I don't know what it is with me and mantling in games, but I feel like I just can't. I, it, my brain just melts in my cranium when I try to mantle something in a video game, it, and I just, I can't. I can't make it work. I don't understand it. It's really confusing. I'm sure I'll get it down eventually, but those are my two major gripes about this game, and I want to get into a little bit of the mechanics. So like I said, the mantling and the driving. The driving is just like picking your destination, just like you would drop into any other battle royale, and so you have four different locations at the end that you can go to that are all a different part of the same map, and then that determines where you spawn. You know, you drive your car there, you get out, you go into an elevator. All of that is cinematic, except for the driving part. And then once you're in the elevator, the cinematic scene thing ends, and then you can play. Uh, the, the gunplay, the gunplay is mediocre. I would say it's a little better than mediocre. I'd say it's like decent. It's okay, you know, it's uh, alpha stages. Um, I, I kind of like it, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. It has the weird sense of like good challenge and RNG, but like mm, definitely needs some refining. Overall fun. The game in general is really fun. And honestly, I would recommend that you do buy the $10 that it costs to get the pre. It, it really doesn't feel like a pre alpha. I'm not going to lie entirely about that. It does in the sense of the fact that it is not very well put together. Some of the mechanics are glitchy. Not everything is there. The graphics aren't all there. However, it is very much a put together game and there is a game to be had. Some other major gripes, I guess not major gripes, but some gripes that I have are going to be that there is no major hub. You know, it's just a main menu and an inventory screen and a trader. There is no overarching objective or objectives. You know, once you have gone in through five to ten matches, kind of just feels like team deathmatch because you can respawn in the extraction shooter, which is really new as well. But, you know, I think that it's a good starting point. OK, other than that, look. This game is good. I recommend it for 10 bucks. It's a pretty good game. And if you are a part of the Dr. Disrespect community, you will very much get along with the people that play this game and you will likely have a good time. If you can convince your friends that you probably don't have just like me to play, then that's even better. But again, if you're like me and you have no friends, then you're pretty much fucked. Other than that, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have seen gameplay of Dead Drop, want to buy the game or already are playing it and enjoy the game. Other than that, stick around for more extraction game news. And and we'll talk again real soon. Peace.